everybody welcome to Cricut bows and headbands today we're going to talk about uploading uh, jpg and png files into design space so some of our templates are what we call screenshots and those are your uh, jpeg and png files so they're a little they take a few more steps to get them into design space but nothing you can't handle so how do we find these files? We'll go into the Facebook page. You know we've got a template document that's a PDF and I've also been putting the Word version in there in case the links aren't working for you. And when you open that document up, you're going to see it's divided up into sections. One section has the templates that are listed already in Design Space and are ready to go for you. There's also our how-to videos that are going to point you to the YouTube videos. And then we have our screenshot section down below. And you'll see that each file has a name and it's got a who created it name on the side. So that way if we have any questions we can go back to the original poster of the file. And then down below there's also a link to the Cricut Help if you need additional help on uploading an image. So I'm going to start with uh, Melissa's rose, and then we also have a butterfly in here. So I see that both of those are listed in here, so they're screenshots. So I'm going to need to go back to that file section of the group to actually get the images. So let me go back here, and you'll see we have them all listed. So here's Melissa's rose and dot .png, and then I've also got a butterfly in here. Now, notice that when I scroll down, it doesn't show me everything, so I do have to hit See More to be able to see all of the files. So I've already gone ahead and saved these files to the desktop of my laptop. You can just simply go over to the side. You've got an option to download it and then save it to wherever is convenient for you. So I've got those on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Design Space and I've got a new project screen and I'm going to click on the icon that says upload and then it's going to ask me which image do I want to upload and you'll see there's a variety of file types that we can use so go ahead and click upload image and then it's going to tell me to drag and drop or go browse for that image I know it's on my desktop so I'm going to go ahead and hit browse oh my desktop's a bit of a mess so here's my rose file so I'm going to go ahead and open that and you'll see it comes in with a checkerboard background and there's a checkerboard inside of the rose design that's because this particular file is a PNG so those come in a little bit cleaner for you I'm going to slide on over and click simple and then continue down in the bottom right corner there's nothing to erase on this particular image because this checkerboard tells you that that's already done for you. So go ahead and hit continue again. And it's going to ask you if you want it as a print and cut or just as a cut image. We want these as just as a cut image. So I'm going to select this box and it puts a green line around the edge. It does pull in the name of the file for you, but you can always change that if you want to. And then I'm going to collect or select save. I'm not collecting anything, but I'm going to select save. There's my image. Now I could highlight that particular one, and down in the bottom right, hit insert image, and then that's the file that would show up in my d design space screen. Let me go ahead and delete that. And now we're going to use one that's a .jpg or a JPEG file. That takes a little bit more cleaning up same steps upload upload image I'm going to browse for it and you see I've got one here that says butterfly single loop that's a .jpg I'm going to select that and open it now notice the checkerboard is now outside of the image area so we need all of this in here to have that same checkerboard so again, I'm going to go ahead and select Simple, and then Continue. 
and it brings me into this screen. And what I'm going to do is use my little magic wand. Has, doesn't everybody want a magic wand? Up in the top left corner. Select it and then click on the background and just find any empty space and select that background and you'll notice now everything's turned to a checkerboard. That's what we're looking for. Select continue down in the bottom right corner. Again, it's going to ask you if you want it as a print and cut or just as a cut image. Select the cut. You've got a green border around it. Give it a name if you'd like to change it and select save. Now again, I can just select that particular image, bottom right corner, and choose insert image, and there it is in my file. Now you'll notice with both of those files, they come in as one image and one layer. I'm going to make you guys a second video to go with this to show you how you can slice this image apart so that you can have different layers, and then you can cut these on different mats. So for now, that's how to upload a JPG or a PNG file using your computer. Thank you.